So maybe I'm handling this a little backwards. Technically, if I'm going to be jumping into a new series of videos, I should probably be starting at their first episode. But instead, my second episode on them is going to be on their most recent one. So today we're going to be tackling Caleb and Sophia again. But it's their recent video, Should We Celebrate Birthdays? Now, if you remember the last video we did on them, it was the Jesus Forgives episode where lots of really bad advice that wasn't really good for self-preservation uh, was given to Caleb. But in this one, let's see if the Jehovah's Witnesses argue that we should or should not celebrate birthdays. Spoiler, they hate birthdays. They're monsters. So, Dad, why don't we- Oh, God, Caleb, why? When did you gain the lungs of a god? We celebrate our birthday. Good question. How would you answer that at school? Uh, because Jehovah doesn't like it? Yes, but why? What? Okay, but where? Where? Where in the Bible does it say that Jehovah doesn't like birthdays? Can you find me a passage where it, where it just says, and Jesus spoketh, the birthday is banned, and you're not allowed to come to my birthday party? Hi. Do you like presents and treats? Yes! But do you want them like this? What? What's with the imagery here? Is it supposed to say that you get the presents, but they have, they have baggage, they're spoiled? Birthday celebrations mix good things with things Jehovah doesn't like. Like, like what? What stuff does Jehovah not like that birthdays do? I'm curious. How? Long ago, many people believed in good and evil spirits and were afraid of them. They thought presents and treats on their birthday could protect them. But and like today, they made wishes that only good things would happen to them. Okay, but that's an argument from tradition. That's a fallacy. Your problem with birthdays as they are celebrated in the modern day is based on how people who are long since dead with traditions that are no longer held for those reasons function. That's... That sounds to me like a group of people who just want to control you and are looking for any bullshit excuse that they can use to actually engage in that control. None of that... None of that is from the Bible. What does the Bible say about birthdays? Nothing. It talks about them, but not good ones. What? Wait, is your argument going to be that... Because the Bible talks about bad birthdays, nobody's allowed to have a good birthday? That's weird. Let's let's see if that's the case. There was Pharaoh in Egypt and Herod in Jesus' day. They were proud rulers and had people put to death at their birthday parties. And what is what does that have to do with anything? That's an that literally two anecdotes. You're going to use two anecdotes and say that all birthdays are bad because two random people who, mind you, are not alive anymore and whose nation states do not exist anymore in the way they existed back then. Spoil it for everyone, apparently. This is, again, argument from tradition. This is this is an argument from tradition, which is a fallacy. It essentially is saying that this is bad because people in the past did it and it was bad then. But I'm pretty sure that everybody viewed celebrations as a positive thing back then as well. Wouldn't then the existence of literally any good birthday or any ruler engaging in a good birthday be an argument against this? Or do only the bad ones work? 
Can you remember if Jesus celebrated his birthday? Uh, no. That's right. He Why does that matter? Do you know what else Jesus didn't do? Drive a car. Should Jehovah's Witnesses not drive cars anymore? You know what else Jesus didn't do? Apparently he didn't have sex. Does that mean that Jehovah's Witnesses shouldn't have children now? Because Jesus didn't have kids? Depending on which interpretation you're looking at. If your argument's going to be Jesus didn't do it, therefore we don't do it, that doesn't work. And I'm sure there's going to be at least one Jehovah's Witness who's going to look at this video and go, no, 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 it's not that any one of those things is the reason we shouldn't celebrate birthdays. It's that all of those things together are reasons why we shouldn't celebrate birthdays. But let me ask you a question. Does, if you have five bad reasons to believe something, do they come together to make one good reason? At the end? No, they don't. Not even in the slightest. But, but apparently, according to them, they do? He didn't. He told us to celebrate the date of his death because it gives us the hope of living forever. And oh my god, is that not... Is that not a little fucked up, though? Don't celebrate the day that I was born. My birthday's bad. No, celebrate the day I was dead. Celebrate the day I died, please. That's more than a little messed up. And I'm sure there's at least one kid who's an XJW who came out of this having a real screwed up idea of what to and to not celebrate. This is literally death cult stuff. You're worshiping death. You're only allowed to celebrate death. If you don't want to be called a death cult, maybe don't do death cult things. And Jesus taught us to give good things to each other anytime we want. Like, like today. <laughs> good timing. Hi, yes. But wait, nobody said that you couldn't give good things to each other on any day and therefore birthday. Wait, you can do that and also have birthdays. You can have people baking pies for you randomly and also have birthday cake. This is just a... B what is a Jehovah's Witness but a miserable pile of fallacies? But enough of this. It's a cult. What? I'm sure there's more context that I'm missing. I mean, they still don't have eyelashes for some freaking reason. I'm sure there's some context here that I cannot provide because I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I was never a Jehovah's Witness. I came from... Uh, the, the IFB. I came from the International Fundamental Baptists and Seventh-day Adventists uh, way of thinking. That is what PCA was built off of. That's where I got my religious foundation from back when I was a Christian. So there's certainly context that I cannot give here. But if the only reasons, if the only arguments you have against birthdays are functionally that Jesus didn't celebrate them, regardless of the fact that you do other things Jesus didn't celebrate... The fact that a couple of people who were rulers had birthdays where they killed people, which has nothing to do with birthdays of today. And some traditions believed that giving gifts on your birthday would ward off evil spirits, regardless of the fact that nobody celebrates that tradition in that way today either. None of those are good reasons. And when you combine them together, they do not make a good reason sandwich. It's still a bad sandwich. Everything can be a sandwich. And in this case, it's a bad idea that's a sandwich. So we're officially ending this video on sandwich epistemology and Jehovah's Witness fallacies. They don't celebrate Christmas either, from what I understand. So, yay. But with all that said, if you enjoyed the video, if you liked any of this presentation, if you have any thoughts or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, please make sure to put a like and also hit the subscribe button if you have not already. Please hit the bell notification icon if you would like to see whenever new episodes come out and when new live streams go out. And also, if you want to support the channel and what I do, please go ahead and check the uh, description below and you will find links to various ways that you can do so. But with all that said, everyone, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for sticking around. And as always, insert into video tagline here. <laughs>